him. Uh, do you think then, uh, if it's the greatest day for freedom, that this is the beginning of some tremendous change in our country? And if so, how do you see it developing? Well, this is a revolution, of course, that uh, is sweeping our country now. And it, uh, if it ends up properly, perhaps uh, Indians will be given some of their land back that they have uh, rightful claims on by treaty. Uh, certainly uh, the benefit of all minorities, Jews, Filipinos, Chinese, uh, uh, Negroes, uh, Hindustani, Koreans, all people will benefit. Today was an unprecedented event in that uh, it is the only time in history, I believe, in America when two, over 200,000 people have gathered to say with one voice and with one uh, spirit, uh, uh, one cause. And uh, I think that it's easy to oversimplify this problem. The, the, the problem seems to me a subtler one, and it has to do with hatred. It's true that the Avambundu tribe, uh, which roamed from an area of, uh, I think, Tanganyika to uh, Angola, was responsible for the acquisition of 15 million of their fellow Negroes, uh, citizens, and sold them into slavery. Uh, Certainly the cruelties that have gone on in between the white races uh, will testify to this inherent uh, anger that all men feel. And uh, no matter where you look, whether it's uh, in Franco Spain or uh, Chiang Kai-shek's government or uh, in uh, some of the South American countries, the, uh, the, the distress that you see in Haiti today gives evidence of the fact that we are, are all, as human beings, filled with anguish and hatred and fear. And I think that that is what we are uh, expressly addressing ourselves here uh, to today here in this movement. I think it's one step closer to trying to understand the human heart, to try to uh, understand what is it that has produced this? What excuse is it that we give ourselves to give the expression to burning children with cattle prods and uh, destroying people?